x is a set of cardinality 4 and px is its power set. y is a set of all mappings from x to px. If we choose a mapping from y at random, then find the probability that it is 1 to 1. You are watching Brain Exploders, the world where brain starts working. Cardinality of a set means number of elements in that set. x has a cardinality 4, so we can write n x is equal to 4 and it means x has 4 elements. For further, we will uh, assume that x is equal to a, b, c, d, a set of 4 elements. Power set of x is the set of all subsets of x. If we make a set containing element A, then it is a subset of x. Set containing A and B is a subset of x. Set C, D is also a subset of x. Phi means empty set is also a subset of x and x itself is also a subset of x and in this way several other subsets of x can be found. If we make a set of all these subsets then that set is called power set of x means power set of x px contains a contains the set containing b contains the set containing a comma b contains empty set contains x itself and all other subsets of x. Now for further calculations we need to know the cardinality of x also. So uh, how can we know the cardinality of x? A uh, cardinality of x means number of elements uh, in power set or in other words we can say the number of subsets of x. So x has four elements a b c and d now if we have to make a subset of x then we have to choose some of these elements so for each element here we have two possibilities either it may be present in the subset or it may not be present in the subset suppose a is present in the subset there were two possibilities a may be present a may not be present now, independent of the presence of A, B may be present, B may not be present. So, suppose B is not present. Now, for A, there were two possibilities. For B also, there were two possibilities. Similarly, for C also, there are two possibilities and for D also, there are two possibilities. It may be present, it may not be present. For uh, every element, there are two possibilities. Hence, cardinality of power set is 2 raised to the power 4 which is equal to 16. Now let us see what is mapping. Mapping is a rule which associates each element of a set to a unique element of another set. In short, we can say that from one set we have to take input and for one input there will be exactly one output from another set. So suppose A is the domain and B is codomain. Now, if we make connections like this, then it is a mapping. For uh, two different inputs, there may be same output also. So, this is also a mapping. But for one input, there may not be two outputs like this. This is not a mapping. It may not be considered as a mapping. Also, since it is written that each element of A should be associated, so if we leave any element from set A, then it is also not a mapping. If for different inputs, there are different outputs like this, for the four inputs here we have got four different outputs, then the mapping is called one-to-one -one mapping and if for at least 
two different inputs there, there is a same output then the mapping is called many to one mapping do you think uh, there is something like one to many mapping is it possible no it is not possible because if one output gives more uh, if one input gives more than one output then it is not considered as mapping so it is uh, there is nothing like one to many mapping now we have set x containing four elements and power set px containing 16 elements so in this set there are four elements and here we have 16 elements say f is a mapping from x to px there are different possible mappings and y is a set of all these mappings so we can make a mapping like this say it is f1 or we can uh, make a mapping like this say it is f2 or we can make a mapping like this say it is f3 and in this way we can make uh, many mappings so what is the cardinality of y how many such mappings can be made for first element there are 16 possible elements in the another set so uh, let's take 16 now for the second second element also there are 16 possibilities again independent of the uh, output of the first one so again here 16 similarly for the third and fourth also there are 16 possibilities hence cardinality of y is 16 raised to the power 4 now from these mappings we uh, um, if we have to take one to one mappings so how many such mappings are possible let us see for one to one mappings uh, first element we can uh, for the first element we can have 16 outputs we can uh, join it to any of the desired uh, element present in power set so at first we can take multiplication factor 16 now but uh, now in uh, in the second uh, for the second element suppose the first element is connected to this one now for the second element we cannot choose this one otherwise the mapping will not remain one to one so now we have only 15 possibilities so for first one we we had 16 possibilities but now we have only 15 possibilities suppose this is connected somewhere here now for the third one we cannot connect it to the uh, to the, the previous ones so it has now only 14 possibilities and similarly fourth one has only 13 possibilities so this is the cardinality of the set uh, containing one to one mappings now the required probability is equal to 16 times 15 times 14 times 13 over 16 raised to the power 4 which is equal to 1365 over 2048 this was our solution don't forget to like and share our video and for more such videos subscribe to our channel brain explorers thanks for watching